right, catching up with you guys again. Uh, did not get any footage this morning. Been driving for a few hours already. We left north of Dallas, right there in Gainesville, Texas, just by the Oklahoma border. And now we are on our way. It's almost it's 11 a.m. We've already made it through Dallas, and we're already making our way down. We got to get all the way down to here, Laredo. So we're making our way down. We got to go through. I took a little different route. Instead of going through Dallas, I went through Fort Worth, and uh, I was very impressed. They've uh, finished up some of the, a good bit of their construction there, and it, it was a uh, much smoother roads, a little bit less traffic, I would imagine, and it was actually a shorter route. So I'll be doing that for sure a lot more. So good deal. Go through Austin, San, go around in San Antonio, and then we're gonna stop short, hit our food stuff. But uh, uh, if you're tuning in this far, I think this video is probably going to be of my first load. It's probably going to be a pretty long video. But in the future, I'm going to dial in the content that I do and dial in a lot of stuff. You know, For example, I, I plan on adding GoPros. I plan on adding a lot of stuff if I'm going to do this. And, and I'm going to get a lot more fine-tuned. It's going to get better. Um, and part of it is is figuring out the length of the videos not only what the viewer wants but also what's good for me I mean I can make an hour-long video and I could probably have enough content for that but to me that's just too much it's too boring I think it takes a lot of the audience away that don't want to watch long videos like that I think for the most people a 30-minute video is about as long as they really want to commit to and I understand that I'm really the same way with the content that I watch with especially with trucking so um, so I'm probably going to try to keep my videos in that like, you know, at least 10 minutes long, preferably like 15 to 30 at the most. Really in that comfort zone, probably that comfort zone for me probably be, you know, probably 15 to 25 minutes, may, you know, with, uh, you know, at the most 30 minutes long, you know. So I think that'd be good. This one's probably going to be a little bit longer, but I don't know. Um, we'll dial it in, and if you have enjoyed this video, uh, just know that if you enjoy this, if, if it's interesting or whatever, definitely stay tuned and, and stick in because it's going to get a lot better. I'm gonna, I plan on like for example, I'm gonna have GoPros, more GoPros running that are non-touch where I don't have to touch. This is an older GoPro, so I have to do it. So that's why you're not getting any driving footage, and uh, they're going to be voice activated and stuff so that I can control them uh without touching them because I, I need to be not no touch you know non-touch while i'm driving to be safe and legal so we will be doing uh that kind of stuff and that's going to be good it's give you some nice views seeing the country it's a beautiful country and it's, a, it's part of the job that i really enjoy is, is seeing that so you guys are going to get a lot of that but for now the video is kind of more one-dimensional and that's okay for now it'll probably be this way for uh a few more vlogs and a few more weeks maybe be getting home here soon and uh, I want to see if I can manage doing this and whatnot so um, that's really it we're, we're just making our way down I'm just taking a quick pit stop the winds blowing pretty bad um, you may be able to tell and these big trucks they move around a lot um, in, with the wind so luckily it's a headwind it's, sometimes it can be a little bit of a crosswind depending on the direction of the highway at the time but for the most part it's moving around a little bit too much and I wanted to get some go-go juice together um, and do a couple little things real quick uh, that uh, normally if it w wasn't windy I would do um, while driving um, but uh, it's just not worth the risk you know when you can just take make, make a little pit stop you know and I got plenty of time so you know and there's nothing I can do I can't drop this load off early or anything um, so there's no need to to do the risk so I just pull over a little rest area real quick get some go-go juice going and grab a few do little things I had to do and then and we're out. We'll get on down there. I'll probably catch up with you in guys, guys, because once again, I'm not politically correct. I'll catch up with you guys, and I'm from the South. So I'll catch up with you guys when we get on down, probably closer to Laredo. All right. It's almost 5 p.m. We're only about 35 minutes away or so. We're in pretty much in Laredo, Texas, um, if not really close, but we secured the bag. Okay, we secured the bag. The Fuel America, it's either in Laredo or outside of Laredo. Uh, you'll know because there's not much around here, but let me tell you right now. They got a lot of good food options. It's not a very busy place. It's a good place to be. But the reason I come here is this. All right? 
Charlie's cheesesteaks. And their cheese fries is solid. I used to think it was the best cheese fries that I could find anywhere until I went to Culver's. Um, they got the daggum best loaded fries that I've ever had. Nice big platter. Well, we got some food, so I'm going to pull over here and, and go ahead and eat since we're only 30 minutes away or so. And then we'll head on down there and get parked up for the night. And get ready for delivery in the morning. I'll show you guys what I got. Matter of fact, I'm not holding anybody up, so I'll go ahead and show you real quick. Uh, well, I got I got two cheese cheese steaks, and then I got some loaded fries. I'll show you actually in a minute when we get them out. I'm gonna... And this is the view while we eat. I could have got a little bit better parking spot, but I wanted to just grab something real quick. And uh, let me uh, for the daily presentation, I showed you to come up here and get you some food, especially some Charlie's cheese steaks. Let's show you. This is uh, for the presentation. This is uh, some sort of Kentucky bourbon Philly cheesesteak. That's their regular size. They got like small, medium, and large. And then I got a buffalo chicken. That is fire. And it was not supposed to come with tomato. It was pretty sure it was not on the ingredients list. Uh, but I'll take the tomato and lettuce off. I don't think that was on the... Uh, I don't remember that being, but that right there, that's why, that's why I come. That's the daggum cheese fries. I got no fork, so I'm going to have to make the most, do, do what I can with it, but uh, I'm going to dig into that first. Oh, and another thing I want to show you guys. This is when you're putting in work, okay? This is when you're putting in work. You know, those who know, you know, that is a good way to pass the time right there. Some dadgum, uh sunflower seeds got the old bay season flavor the big bag the big boy all right when well, we made it this is what we're looking like it's like 9 30 p.m central time we made it down here a while ago but uh let's see i started off i did a live earlier on my youtube it's the first time i've really uh uploaded anything in a little while just kind of giving an update uh you should check out check that out i published that um today today's date is uh january for january 15th is it it's the 15th uh on 2023 so if you want to check that out i was just giving kind of an update so basically if you're watching this that was in the past so that live was probably it's gonna be a, at least a week apart but uh uh just kind of giving an update so anyway um really just kind of been hanging out that food from charlie's was so good oh man it was great um i ate a good bit you know because i'm a big boy and i do like to eat but the thing is when i'm when i'm working and i've just kind of developed this anyway because i uh started intermittent fasting a while a long time ago i had lost a bunch of weight which a lot, a lot of you a lot of you guys you never saw that um that was when i was while i was mia i um I gained weight back in like 18 and 2019, gained a little bit of weight, and then got a fire under my belly and lost a bunch of weight, uh, and I lost I lost 100 pounds, so I worked really hard at that. That, that took me at least a year to do, and then uh, I started gaining it back uh, a, while, a while after that, uh, just a little bit, and then... I had it kind of under control, but I was like slowly gaining some, and I was like, it, I was doing okay, and I was still going to the gym. I was still doing what I should be doing. Um, I was maintaining, honestly, um, and then COVID happened, and I just completely fell off the wagon. I was unemployed for a year and a half, actually, because of that. So um, that's a whole other story, but I needed a career change. That was a lot of it. Um, it, it kind of triggered a career change for me, which was good. I'm glad it did. Um, so, the thing is, is that we're just kind of hanging out right now. Because I did that live, and then I just wanted some time to chill out and work on my own. Right now, I'm watching just a YouTube video, just doing some research, kind of getting an Amazon shipping list together. Uh, whenever, you, whenever you're a truck driver, OTR, man, you got to... You gotta, plan your things out on things you're running starting to run low on because you can't just be at the house at any point you know it takes a week at least to get home at least a couple days 
So when you plan your home times, you want to manage. You don't want to be going back home just to go grab packages. You want to plan things out. So I'm planning things that I need, and I'm trying to figure out things that I need to get for video editing. I'm I was I'm looking at right. I'm looking at the computer that I want to buy. I'm gonna go all out because I hate wasting time rendering and exporting and all that stuff. Uh, you get what you pay for, and you want the best computer that money can buy you. Trust me that it'll save so much time for you and you can do more and better stuff so um, we're gonna definitely be doing that I already have a MacBook but we're gonna have we're gonna I mean I'm gonna completely spec it out like four grand so that's what we're gonna do if, if we want to keep doing this video stuff because I don't have much time and I need to make the most of it so I'm looking at that right now you can kind of see um, you know going all the way completely spec it out one terabytes plenty for what I be doing have Final Cut Pro and uh, this was on the 14 inch I'm actually gonna upgrade I'm gonna go to the 16 inch not because I want the bigger screen simply because it has a little bit more power it has a high power option um, and a little bit better battery life from what I understand so I'm gonna bump it up it's gonna be over four grand so hey it is what it is so uh, I'm looking forward to having that it'll be be awesome to have a real real editing machine this one's okay it's better than my last macbook but it's it's still not a lot better and it still definitely struggles even on simple edits so don't have that kind of time uh, we're just hanging out man it's beautiful it feels so wonderful down here you know being up north i don't mind the cold and whatnot but man it's nice to you know obviously feel that southerly wind and feel that warm air it's, it's going to be almost 90 degrees here for a high tomorrow, actually, but it was like 80, 85 all day, and it was just really good. The wind was blowing. It's beautiful. It feels great. I'm not idling. I'm just I'm just uh, saving fuel and enjoying some fresh air coming in, and um, feel pretty good. Just a tad warm. It's probably like 75 degrees outside right now, but it's it, it's not it's not too bad. It's not too bad in here, so that's about it. I just wanted to give you an update, and I don't think there's really anything else too much. Just kind of hanging out, just trying to strategize packages for when I'm going to get home soon, and doing some research on, on certain things um, for my business, and taxes, and doing some research, trying to get my affairs in order, make sure, make sure that they're in, in order, and... Uh, uh, also strategizing my moves for this channel and for this video deal. There's a lot that I'm going to have to figure out. Some stuff we're going to get. We're going to try and do it our way. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it for the folks. If you were watching this video and you were on that live that I made today, um, yo, I, I really appreciate you for real. I only had a few viewers. i got to build that trust up with you folks again. With you folks. With the viewers i appreciate it i really do i don't take it for granted so thanks for watching if you enjoyed this you know leave a like and stuff i'll see y'all tomorrow